This video is part three of our CAD project, creating the headphones. And in this video, we're going to look at using the mirror feature. We're going to look at the arc feature, and we're going to also look at the move and copy feature. So let's jump over into Fusion and see how it looks. So you should hopefully be up to this point where we've created our block for our hinge point. So now we're going to create another sketch. And we're going to select this side profile here for our plane. We're going to use our view cube to look at it from the side again. And we're going to zoom in a bit more. Then we're going to use our line. And we're going to look for the point where our cursor changes to our midpoint. Then we're going to go up by about 5 mil. And we're going to add that line. Again, because this line isn't going to be referenced in our shape, we're going to make this a construction line. Then we're going to create another line. And what we're going to do is we're going to hover over this point that we've created. And as we go along, it's going to add a point that's parallel to it. So we're going to go along about halfway across to the edge of our body. And then we're going to move this down and we're going to make this about 5 mil as well. Then press enter to add this line. Now, rather than creating this line again on the other side, what we're going to use is our mirror feature. So for this, we're going to select the objects that we want to duplicate. In this case, it's the line to the right of the center one. Then we're going to select our mirror line. In this case, it's going to be our construction line. And as you can see, it's going to add our line on the opposite side, symmetrical to this one. Right, now we've got our two lines added. We're going to create an arc. So we're going to go to the Create drop down menu. We're going to go to Arc and we're going to select a three point arc. Now, what you might have noticed that's really good with Fusion 360 is that if you hover over one of the features that you can use, it's going to tell you what it does, and it's also going to give you instructions on how to use it. So for this, we're going to use our three-point arc. So we're going to need to select a start point, an end point, and then we're going to select the curvature of the arc. So we're going to select the top of our two lines as our start and end point. And then we're going to want it to curve out until it gets to this point where it's going to try and make a complete circle. Once we've got that done, we're going to click Finish Sketch. And then we're going to extrude this, this shape that we've just created out. So we're going to click Extrude. And we're going to move it by about minus five. But once again, we're going to create this as a new body. And we're going to click OK. Then, once again, to save us time, rather than creating this body again on the other side, we're going to click move slash copy. Then we're going to select the body that we've just created. And we're going to make sure that we've ticked create a copy then we're going to move this along and we're going to drag it until it reaches the edge of the body that we created in the previous video once we've got it there we're going to click ok so we should now be starting to create the hinge that's going to be attached to this then what we're going to do to finish this off is we're going to create a bar that goes and joins between these. So we're going to create a sketch on this inside profile and we're going to select a center diameter circle. We're going to find our midpoint on the curve and we're going to follow it down. We're going to drop it somewhere along here and we're going to create our circle about six millimeters in diameter. Then what we're going to do is click Finish Sketch again, and we're going to select Extrude. We're going to select the profile that we've just made, but this time under Distance, 
we're going to select two objects. Then what we're going to do is rotate around and we're going to extend it out to the other point that we created in our previous one. We're going to leave it as join and we're going to click OK.